the world's most exciting prize in cycling is back. A career-defining moment where the best amateur riders from across the globe do battle to win two professional contracts. Turning dreams into reality. Ten talented riders proven in the virtual world now have a chance to live their ultimate dream. Turning pro on the road. Facing them is the toughest challenge of their lives. This is Zwift Academy. Welcome to the Zwift Academy Finals 2020. Over the last three months, over 150,000 people signed up for a unique training program on Zwift. Most for personal performance improvement, but for many with the aim of winning a life-changing prize. A professional cycling contract with Alpacin Phoenix or Canyon Tram, potentially turning them from everyday Jane or Joe into world-class pro. And after much deliberation and analysis of the contestants' data on Zwift, we have our final contenders. And what a list that is. 10 of the best riders, five men and five women, who we're given the chance to win the most amazing prize in cycling. I'm Ronnie Lauke. I'm one of the founders of Kenyan Strand Racing, currently team manager. I'm Christoph Rothaus, fourth director of Alpes in Phoenix and together with my brother, co-founder of the team. The Swift Academy winner will get a contract that enables her to race for the Kenyan SRAM racing team in the World Tour, in the Women's World Tour in the 2021 season. We are going to offer the winner of the Swift Academy full support, which will mean um, we will put him in our performance program. For one complete year, it's an amazing opportunity. For the, for the woman who, who is going to make it at the end, it's something that's, that's, that's life-changing. I'm Kasia Nivadoma. Swift Academy develops really good riders. It doesn't happen that often that you get opportunity to sign a contract with a pro team. It's going to be very difficult for Swift finalists racing on the Swift and doing all those workouts. It's going to be difficult, but it's a great opportunity for a lot of riders. My name is Matthew Vanderpool. I am currently a member of the Alpsin Phoenix team. The winner of the of the Zwift Academy will come in, uh, yeah, in a really nice team. Actually, most of the time it's it's hard work, but the life is is pretty fun, and we have a really good uh, good team spirit in that as well. If you win it, you'll uh, turn out to be a useful asset in our team. It's a truly incredible prize and the stuff of dreams as over the last four years, seven of our Swift Academy graduates have signed pro contracts. And we caught up with a few just to get a sense of how life-changing the Swift Academy can be. The winner of the 2019 Canyon SRAM Swift Academy is Jess. I just remember not being able to believe it. When I was announced as a winner, um, it took a while to sink in. I told my younger sister and I told my mum. You got the contract? Yeah. Oh my God, that is so awesome. <laughs> I just couldn't quite believe what was going on. Getting a professional contract with one of the best teams in the world just completely changed my life because I see it as just rolling out of red carpet to a professional cycling career. My life started to change. I haven't really traveled out of Europe before. Suddenly, like I, I flew to Australia, I've been to the US. Boom, you're like traveling the world now, you're a pro cyclist. I was provided with a coach, which for somebody who was being self-coached was absolutely amazing. There were so many support networks. The other riders on the team, I was able to learn so much. I was provided with feedback from every race that enabled me to grow and develop as an athlete. The sponsors that we have are just incredible. The equipment that we use is amazing. Got given so much stuff that I couldn't afford before. 
like Rafa kits and Oakley glasses and uh, good bikes, zip wheels. Like my first race is in the Kenyan Tram kit. I raced at Tour Down Under and I finished on ninth on GC, which was a really amazing start to my year with the team. I feel like every moment in the last three years kind of felt like a highlight. So, what's in store for this year's competitors? Well, in previous years, we brought together the finalists and the pros at a training camp, so we can really get a sense of who's got what it takes. But given the current challenging times that we all face, this year, for the very first time, the Zwift Academy Finals will be held entirely remotely. That means they'll be facing some of the toughest challenges yet set on the Zwift platform, alongside real-world challenges too, with the input of some very special guests all of which will push the finalists to the absolute physical and mental limits. <laughs> and if that wasn't stressful enough, this will all be done under the watchful eye of this year's judges, the people who'll be making that all important decision on who gets the pro contracts. My name is Rolf Aldak and I'm sport director of the Kenyan SRAM team. I'm Dan Begum and I'm Kenyan SRAM's performance engineer. I'm Christoph de Kegel and I am the performance manager of Alpsin Phoenix. My name is Philip Rothoft. I am manager of Alpsin Phoenix cycling team. There's a need for everything in road cycling. So we have to have riders that have a, a really good capability in everything. Crosswind, a little bit of climbing, a little bit of acceleration forces, you know, some time trialing skills. And then ideally you develop something that you're really, really good at. So that, that makes a winner. With the setup of the team there is now, it would be someone having the qualities to perform in the one-day races, in the sprint classics, or to be good as a sprinter, or in the lead-out of a sprint. I'm looking for an athlete that can assess their own performance, that is able to both recognise their strengths but also their weaknesses, and to be objective about it so that they can improve their overall performance, but as well recognise where their strengths lie and, and use them to, to win bike races. We are searching for a strong profile, of course. We know that riders need, uh, need a certain aerobic power, need a certain threshold power. Strong mental skills, high, high self-motivation and things like that are really important. That way the team can be successful and the rider as an individual can also play a successful role within the team. The Zwift Academy is a huge opportunity for whoever ends up winning the competition. Basically, fast tracks you to the highest level of sport and gives you an access to the biggest races against the best riders uh, and the opportunity to achieve absolutely amazing results. To be honest, those guys are going to have one of the hardest jobs in the competition this year because they've got to choose from some of the best Zwift Academy finalists we've ever had. And it's time to meet them. Starting with the men, here are your Zwift Academy finalists. I'm Jay Vine, I'm 25 years of age and I'm from Canberra, Australia. If, if I won the finals, it would, be, it would be the start of a new life. Uh, like day to day, things probably wouldn't change because I'm sort of living as a, as a pro, just a very unpaid pro. <laughs> but starting racing against guys that I've only ever watched on TV would, would just be a, a dream come true. <laughs> I am Jochen Karakhaat, I am 20 years old. I come from Schwandijke in the Netherlands. How beautiful is it what I'm doing right now? And that's actually what I mean with live your dream. Enjoy every moment. I would win this contract. The first thing what I would do is just take my bike for a ride. And I will just think, wow, this is my work now. I'm Damien Clayton. I'm 28 years old and I'm from Barnsley. I used to be an architect in London. I quit that to pursue my dream as a cyclist. It's everything I've ever dreamed of don't have any friends, don't have any relationships and I feel like I've sacrificed so much but it would just mean everything to finally be a pro cyclist. So hi, I'm Lionel Riesin, I'm 31, I'm from Spimon, New York. I'm a department manager at Nike. I'm living with my girlfriend here. We share the house with her parents. Yeah. The long list of animals, we have like uh, one dog, two rabbits, five cats, a duck, three donkeys, five horses. And when you feel bad, you have one come to you and cheering you up, so it's cool. I'm Ollie Moores, I'm 24 and I'm from Skainsville, England. I'm currently a student and I'm working towards being a full-time pro cyclist. My dad uh, rides a lot, has done for as long as I can remember really. Last week leading into this, not great. 
training wise came down with some some illness so prep wise it's not been ideal it's a setback but in my mind i just got to keep, keep going so that was a look at the men a bunch of amazingly talented riders which is a good thing really because next year one of them is going to be a teammate of matthew van der poel so what about the women who's going to be joining tiffany cromwell and cassia Nuiadoma at canyon shram in 2021 here are your women finalists My name is Kate McCarthy, I'm 25 and I'm from Hamilton, New Zealand. I've been working as a full-time police officer. I work my training and lifestyle around my, around my work schedule. Work sort of has to come first, but the cycling's been massive for me, so I like being able to go hard and for as long as I can and see if I can <laughs> outdo the others, yeah. My name is Eva-Marie Hering, I'm 27 years old and I live in Munich, Germany. I am a doctor who is working at a health startup company doing preventive medicine. I just love to ride my bike, I love to race from the bottom of my heart and that's why I think um, I can be a pro. Nicole Coates, take one. I've just graduated in the summer. I'm kind of at a crossroads now and it would be the perfect time to have the opportunity to go straight into a pro contract. The thing I love about cycling is the endorphins after a workout, knowing that you've just nailed it. I love that feeling. I go out in any weather and my friends, they all think I'm crazy. I'm Dave Bradbury, I am 18 years old and I live in Baroni, Victoria. I'm a uni student studying exercise and sports science. Tiffany Cromwell is actually my role model. I went with, up for a ride with her, it would have been six years ago now. I was just fangirling the whole ride, like, oh my God, this is Tiffany Cromwell. So to be competing for a contract in her team is just amazing. My name is Natalia Franco. I am 25 years old and I'm from Medellin, Colombia. I am finishing my master's degree in sports psychology. I think what inspired me to become a cyclist uh, was that I'm very competitive and it's just very special to connect with people in meaningful ways just through the bike. Well, there's our 10 finalists and if there's one thing we can promise you is that it's gonna be very, very close. So you will not want to miss one second of the action. Now the fun kicks off tomorrow and there'll be a challenge every single day. Then on Saturday, join us in our live show where our contestants will face two final challenges before the judges crown our winners. Don't forget you can join us across all of our social media platforms. I'll be involved in some unmissable content, including that all important final on Saturday the 19th of December at 7pm GMT. See you soon.